so our question is 8 raised to x equal to 0 0.25 last time when i do a exponential problem uh, many of my viewers told me that i am doing so well, the problem in a very complex manner by using logarithm so this time i thought to do it a little bit simpler so let's start so 8 raised to x equal to 0 0.25 can be written as 25 by 100. So 8 raised to x equal to 1 by 4. And 8 raised to x equal to 1 by 4 can be multiplied both denominator and numerator by 2 so we'll get 2 by 8 8 raised to x equal to 2 by 8 you can take 8 in the left hand side so 8 into 8 raised to x equal to 2 we can write 2 as 2 raised to 3 into 1 by 3 because 3 and 3 get cancelled and we get 2 raised to 1 which is equal to 2. So 8 into 8 raised to x equal to 2 raised to 3 into 1 by 3. That is a raised to m or raised to n equal to a raised to m. We can apply here. So we get 8 into 8, 8 raised to x equal to. 2 raised to 3 or raised to 1 by 3. Also, a raised to m into a raised to n equal to a raised to m plus n. Applying this here, we get 8 raised to x plus 1 equal to 2 raised to 3 is 8. 8 raised to 1 by 3. Here, this is an exponential equation. 8 is the base and x plus 1 and 1 by 3 is the exponent. Since the base is equal, we can equate the exponent. So, x plus 1 equal to 1 by 3. So, x equal to 1 by 3 minus 1, which is equal to 1 by 3, 1 minus 3 by 3 equal to minus 2 by 3. We can verify it, that is 8 raised to minus 2 by 3 equal to 8 raised to minus 2 into 1 by 3. So, which is equal to 8 raised to minus 2 or raised to 1 by 3. So, which is equal to cubic root of 8 raised to minus 2. And that's equal to cubic root of 1 by 8 square. So, which is equal to the cubic root of 1 by 2 cube, the all square. We can, since 2 cube, we can, we will get outside the cube as 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. which is equal to 1 by 4. So, 1 by 4 is 0 0.25. So, thus we verified our problem. Okay. Thank you.